Nearly two years ago, a gunfight inside a popular St. Paul bar killed an innocent woman. More than a dozen others inside 7th Street Truck Park were injured by flying bullets. On Friday, one of the gunmen, Devondre Phillips, will be sentenced for his role in the deadly shootout. Tonight, for the first time, we can take you inside the bar at the time of that shooting to show you the chaos and the heroism that took place that night. But a warning, some of the surveillance video you're about to see shows shots being fired inside that facility. Here's Fox 9's Paul Bloom. It is late on a Saturday night, early Sunday morning, October 10, 2021. Truck Park on St. Paul's wildly popular 7th Street is hopping. For some, the first time out since the pandemic. Bar video captures the young crowd having fun, socializing, when all of a sudden, just after 12.15 a.m., sheer chaos. Gunfire erupts. There's a mad scramble with terrified people running for the door. Others take cover to protect themselves, including Lindsay Trosdahl. I honestly just couldn't believe it. I think I even said out loud, like, this isn't happening. And in half a second, I was on the ground with 10 more shots going off. In the barrage of gunfire, 14 people would suffer injuries, including the men pulling the trigger. Tragically, Markeisha Wiley, Kiki, was shot in the back. Her family says she died in her brother's arms right there in the bar. Her life cut short at the age of 27. You could have the worst day ever, and all of a sudden she just walks in the room and just like, oh, it's Kiki. Like, she, she just makes you happy. Like, she was the girl that everybody wanted to be friends with. In the nearly two years since, Ramsey County prosecutors have worked to hold the gunmen, Terry Brown and Devondre Phillips, responsible for the deadly shootout. A beef, apparently between the pair and another buddy or two, over a female family member with allegations of domestic violence and prior threats. Truck Park surveillance video capturing the entire incident from a number of angles, giving jurors a crystal clear picture on how the confrontation unfolded in close quarters inside a packed bar. Bring your attention to Phillips there in the ball cap back against what appears to be some boxes. One of Brown's pals approaches the first shot fired by Phillips, who makes a beeline towards the door. When he is apparently intercepted by Brown, the two going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, each shot multiple times. The whole thing had St. Paul's police chief at the time shaking his head in disgust. And that's the problem. And they're settling their disputes over mostly disrespect by gunfire. Yesterday's fistfights are today's gunfights, and that's the problem. As for that gunfire, you can clearly see the muzzle flashes and several brave witnesses stepping up to likely save lives that night. Watch the man in the Vikings' Jeff Gladney jersey crouching, scanning, and when he sees an opening, pouncing, and then wailing on Brown in an effort to get the gun away from him. With use of these videos and often emotional witness testimony in court, Brown and Phillips were each found guilty in separate trials on a myriad of murder and attempted murder counts. Each had blamed the other, claiming self-defense. Juries didn't buy it, and neither did then St. Paul Police Chief Todd Axtell. What a, what a tragic, tragic moment in our city's history. As for Devondre Phillips, he was found guilty on eight total counts of attempted murder for unloading his handgun that night. Sentencing coming up Friday morning where he is looking at up to 102 years in prison if the judge sentences consecutively for each of the victims he injured. His attorney tells me he will be asking for probation, again arguing Phillips only opened fire in self-defense. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.